Hi, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today, I'm going to showcase how to make a build in Elden Ring um, using some tools online and uh, requiring no PVE whatsoever. Uh, as many of you know, there are some saves out there that you can grab for PC that uh, allow you to basically have every item in the game and all the uh, consumables you'll need for PvP uh, without having to go farm them yourself. Uh, some people are not really familiar with the process, and there's a couple ways of going about um, getting these other people's saves to replace your own save, but I just want to show you the method that works the best for me and uh, it should work pretty easily for you if you want to make a series of PV PvP characters and um, use them for a variety of different builds. Uh, maybe you want to set up some for meta. Uh, maybe you want to set them, set them up for uh, lower level invasions. The saves that I'm going to be providing today uh, will be usable at any level. Uh, they don't have unlimited upgrade stones, unfortunately, but... Um, Pretty much everything else is there. And I'll show you a few other resources where you can get some of these saves yourself. Uh, you may see my cats join in on this video, but I will uh, try to keep my conversation with them to a minimum. Anyways, let's get started. So uh, I launched Elden Ring first just to show you guys. I'm online here to start out with. Uh, I don't have any saves though, so I'm gonna create a new game just to make sure I have a save. Uh, it doesn't really matter what any of this is. Smash escape to get through this really quick. Okay, cool. So now we have a save. Um, as soon as you quit out here, it really already should have made a save. But uh, let's just go ahead and quit desktop for now because uh, we can't really do anything unless we're in offline mode. I'm going to quit out here and uh, you'll see I have my browser pulled up. There's a few things that we need to download in order to make this work. Um, one of them is, well, I, it's all unofficial, but one of them is a particular piece of software that I like for managing saves. And the primary reason you'll want to use it is to um, manage multiple saves as well as import saves that have different Steam IDs. So uh, the, the saves you'll download, such as maybe the one that I give you, uh, you'll need to change the Steam ID to match your own, and uh, you'll need to replace that save that you just created. I'm gonna get this uh, Elden Ring Save Manager, which I've used before, uh, but I'm just gonna re-download. And uh, you can really extract this to any directory you want. I'm just going to extract it to my downloads here. Okay, so the file, uh, the, the application you'll want to run is called Save Manager. So I'm just going to find that here really quick. Save Manager. Now, once you start this up yourself uh, the first time, okay, good. It does, it starts off with the default setup. So uh, you want to set your Steam ID as it tells you here. Uh, go to Edit, Change Default Steam ID. And then um, in order to get this, what you want to do is go to your uh, Elden Ring save location. And I'll link in the description of this video where to find that in a general case. It should be there for almost every everybody. So I'm going to enter that in. Okay, Steam ID is set. Uh, I think we also need to set the default directory. Okay, it already is set up. So uh, what I want to do now is get a save that will work for uh, these purposes. Now, the one that I started out with initially was this Freedom Project save, which I'll uh, link in the description as well. But I'm going to also link in my save uh, that I've created for doing these kind of PvP scenarios. And uh, you're free to use it as well. So what I'm going to do is uh, I need to first import uh, my uh, my save from uh, another location. So let's see. And I'll, this is uh, this is the name of my my save. And uh, once you open it up here, it'll ask you to enter a name. Uh, I'm just going to enter it base. 
Great. Okay. Uh, actually, I did advise you before to do this in offline mode. That's really only to double check that the save that you load is uh, what you expect, but you don't actually need to do it once you load this save in. Um, it's, it's up to you. Uh, so I'm going to load it in and then we are going to, uh, get an offline launcher from Nexus mods. Uh, I've already downloaded this as well. So I'm just going to, and what you'll want to do is plop it right in your games directory for Elden Ring, which I will link in the description as well. Okay. So it looks like, looks like that offline launcher as Melania's picture, and you just drop it in your games directory. Run it. You'll notice that, uh, yeah, this protected message comes up. That's just because it's not made by an official developer or anything like that. You might get the same message for the save manager, and you can basically just ignore that. Uh, it'll pop up this thing in the background saying Elden Ring is running. And you'll note that before I did this, I clicked on the load save button. So that should have overwritten any saves that you've created with that save. And now you'll see all these saves here. Uh, so what you can do at this point is load in. And uh, yeah, I've created these saves. So 101 poise at starting level. I know there's some, you know, talismans you have to use here, but uh, yeah, you're free to modify these yourself. And what I would recommend is, um, yeah, like I said, going in offline mode, checking out the items, making sure there's no like deathbed smalls in the equipment. Um, there's really not much that can get you banned if it's on Nexus mods. And if you want to do some of this with Cheat Engine, uh, the process is not too hard, but you know, there's a few pitfalls that uh, you might get banned over. So uh, this kind of helps avoid that process. Yeah, that is pretty much it. So thank you very much for checking out this video. Uh, hopefully you have a good foundation for how to um, load up some of these saves yourself and not have to worry about doing any of the grinding. Uh, get started with PvP and uh, join us out there in the community. Have a great day.